Hello everybody! Here is Sibeli Vieira again. Today we're gonna make a pop-up card. It can be for someone's birthday. It's really simple and you can spend as much time as you want to being creative. It's all up to you. So first things first, we're gonna what do we need to make this beautiful card? We need scissors, glue, and you no know, cards. We need a stock card or some thick paper, okay? Uh, doesn't need to necessarily be a stock card, but some thick paper that's gonna be the base of the card. Okay, and after that we need colorful paper. So you know what I've been looking for and looking at house and what I found that's I love it. I'm doing a lot of cooking magazines because they have beautiful color things. So I'm gonna be using uh, no magazine like a uh, paper from um, cooking magazines today. So the first thing you have to do is the base. So I'm gonna do we did. I'm gonna do another. I'm gonna do bright yellow. Okay, I'm gonna do a bright yellow. Okay, I think we want the very obnoxious card. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna fold the paper in a half. Okay. So really that's the it has to be really nicely you know, folded. I'm just gonna here so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna put the card here, you guys can see it. Here it is. Okay, so now I know this is the best place here. Oops, I already see I was paying attention, you guys. I fold not so well my card. And that's the most important thing, actually, is try to fold really nice your card. I'm using a little wood things that I have for my son here. Okay, so, and I have, okay? First thing. Now, I'm gonna get my ruler. And I'm gonna do like three quarters of an inch. Like from like from like from the the bottom like I'm gonna like put an inch and a half measure like a little inch and a half up to you you know you're gonna see why it's like inch and a half and I'm gonna make a little dot here okay and from that one I'm gonna do uh, no three I'm gonna draw three quarters of an inch okay and this is gonna be the bottom of can you see the drawing oh here it is my sorry the drawing the, no the bottom of my vase okay i'm gonna put an inch and a half uh, two inches i'm gonna make a lot of another dot okay and i'm gonna put now two inches well, an inch and a half i'm gonna do put an inch and a half okay so two lines Okay, so now I'm gonna draw another from that line to another line. Okay, so that's funny. The only thing we have to do for this thing is literally is cut two cuts and one no and the fold in the middle. Okay, so look this. So now I'm gonna cut just. This I'm gonna cut this guy. No, I'm gonna show you. That's you're gonna cut. So I'm gonna cut this guy here. Okay. See, I'm gonna just cut this part here. Okay. And this line that we draw here is just gonna uh, is a guide for uh, for us to fold it, okay? For the folding. So I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna fold. Try to do it as nice as I can. That part I'm gonna use my folding tool here. I'm gonna do the other side as well, okay? I'm gonna come back here and open my card, and I'm gonna pop it up just that part over there. See? How cool is that? Isn't it amazing? So that is the vase, okay? So now what we need to do is we're gonna have to make the flowers. So that's the vase, we may just did it. Now we're gonna do the flowers. So the flowers, we need some also, the, some thick paper. And I have like, you know, 
to make the no to the stems of the of the, the thing. So I already had to cut here. See if I can cut something else. I had like oh no, old paper that I never throw away. So I'm gonna cut for. I'm gonna make two flowers. I'm not gonna make one flower for this guy here. Okay, so I've already cut it out. I'm gonna just make one flower. Okay, so we have the stem. So I have here my cooking papers I already select beforehand because it's no, so we know already. So I'm gonna do, I found this green tomatoes. Isn't it cool? I'm gonna draw very, the other side, but I don't wanna show. Actually, I'm gonna just, by eye, I'm gonna eyeball. I'm gonna make a leaf, okay? I'm gonna get, so I wanna use my green tomato as a leaf, okay? Let's see. I hope everybody's okay over there. Everybody's being safe. Here. So we have one leaf. One. Not here. Oops. Put a place where you guys can see. Cool. And now we need to make a flower. Flower. Let me see. Papers for the flower. Oh, I found it. Oh. To make a flower, how about with a bacon or with a pie? Bacon, I'm gonna go to the pie. So, which kind of flower I'm gonna do? Because I did those two different flowers in our card, but I already lost it. Where is our card? I don't know where to go. I oh, hear this. I think I'm gonna go make this flower here because I really enjoyed to make this flower before. So, I'm gonna just do. I just eyeball everything, you know. If it doesn't look good, I will do it again. You know, it's just so this flower is just literally, you know, I made it like a little leaf shape, and after that I cut, I cut smaller. So look how beautiful it's gonna be the color for a flower, like it's kind of tulip. So it's gonna be you now we're making a tulip. Mmm. Okay. But the, the leaf is not a two leaf shaped leaf, but it's okay. It's no, it's our flower, so it can be as whatever what you want. It's gonna be a tulip shaped flower, but the leaves, oh, it is cut a little too much, so let's cut a little nicer. Also, it's nice if you have a tiny little scissor. I used to have one somewhere that disappeared. So I have this one here that I don't like it, but I'm gonna try to use. Sometimes it's easier for cutting if you have a smaller scissor. It's more, it's more precise. But now you do is whatever you do. Just you no, know, take your time. Nobody's in a rush. If you don't like the flowers, start over. I don't know if I like this flower, but I'm not starting over this one because I'm making this for you guys. But, but no, if you don't like yours, start over, and you, you start to think about shapes of things and snow. Paper, how paper reacts to cut, you know, the structure of the paper. It's really fun because you learn a lot when you do it, kind of stuff. And also, you play with colors, you know. So, that's my little flower. Okay, so now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the stem to the flower. I think that's the easiest way to do. Okay, I'm gonna put paper here. And so, do 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 do. Okay, so I'm gonna. So we have the flower. It's gonna be cool. So now look at this. We're gonna glue the flower here. Okay. So we're gonna just, just in the stem, let's see. Cool, let's see if it works. I'm gonna close the card. Oh, it's a pop-up card. Isn't simple? Okay, now we're gonna put our leaves. I, I do leaves the one that, first I glue the flower and after that I glue directly because I wanna see how it's gonna look like. You know, so I'm gonna, so now that I glue that, I'm gonna glue the leaf afterward because no, no, so you can really see how the leaves gonna behave. See? Yeah! 
Isn't cute? Okay, so now the last part you can do, okay, is now it's up to you. It's nice to separate the face from the background. And to do, you can use crayons, you can use uh, you know, uh, color pencil, whatever you have at home. I don't know. I, you can use. Up to you, okay? Just take your time, make something beautiful, enjoy yourself. Nobody's in a rush again. So I'm gonna put just, no, make a, no, I have this pop up book that I love it. So I'm gonna use that as my ruler. And I'm gonna just not, starting from outside the, the folding, I'm gonna make a ground. Maybe like, you know, one quarter of an inch. So now there's the face out the ground. No, it's like, okay. And now I wanna do paint my vase. Do something interesting with my vase. What can I do with my vase? I'm gonna do some, I got some blue here. I'm gonna do really fun vase. Isn't it fun? So I can do that one. I did papa dots. No, this one I did papa dots. This one I make a different, little different. Okay, isn't cute? So just now, I like to also make my vase a different color. But no, this I don't want a blue. I don't know. You don't like the color? Put on top another color. No, I'm just gonna pick a, a pink, and that that will fix. Now there's tons of room for fixing, for exploring. Because I did a trace, I'm gonna trace here too. Just you know, to be the same, to be even. I'm gonna put some dots here. But now it's up to you. You see? So you have a pop-up card vase for a gift someone's birthday party, for decorate your house if you're alone. All the things, very simple. So again, what do you need? We need now a stock card or a fake card, colorful paper, scissors, and glue, really. Okay. If you have extra, you can have a ruler to help you, you can have you no know, pencil colors. No, but you really need just a thicker paper, some colorful paper that you can get magazine, even use paperwork, scissors, and glue. Okay, I hope everybody's safe over there and see you soon. Also, if you make a card, please post it on the Creative Center Facebook so we can take a look what you, you know, think. Also, if you make the, the dolls that I taught last time, you no, know, put, you know, put some pictures for us to take a look. Okay, take care. Bye bye.